Maybe they have some really big pots. In this is a peaceful, prosperous town. Like, why would anybody walk walk their door? <laughs> gotta take my fucking door for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like that's like such a fucking like society is collapsed thing to see like a flaming tire, <laughs> a, dude, a dude with a rope on a door. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> like, what is his angle? I need to know why that's important. It seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Does it seem that weird? Does that seem weird to you? No, that's cool. The dogs are adorable. They're like little, like, terriers. I love them. There's a whole mission where you gotta get, like, this one person specific dog. Maybe they should not be roaming the streets, though. <laughs> yeah. They do. I mean... Maybe. They're good dogs, though. They so we, they gotta find some sort of home. Nope. <laughs> they live <laughs> in the streets. And they I like this guy's them. animation. Please, Let's see. see. Sell me something with C. <laughs> what? I uh, you got okay. So what? <laughs> there's like so like I think there's items that you can get that you can just give him. Uh, but I'm not gonna get nothing. I have is like giveable to him. Really? He doesn't want any sticks. Um, no. Uh, there's, I think he, I think there's specific things you can sell to him. I don't remember what they are, though. I would imagine the Deku Nuts, probably, but... Yeah, maybe. Um... Uh, this is B and that's... Okay, got it. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we probably ought to. <laughs> Let me just play everybody a good song here. Hmm. Uh, whip that back <laughs> out, bitch. Wait. <laughs> Bridge are healing. I made a lot of money. Maybe I should go look for more things to sell. Or like highly, many things float down the river and end up there. <laughs> so they make a fortune taking oh, possessions right. from the river and selling it back to the town. <laughs> this person is important. It's like some trailer park boys shit. I make a fortune finding broken shopping carts, repairing them, and selling them back to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? She, she's involved with, like, getting a phone, right? Yep. Yeah, it's Malin. Okay. She gets abducted by aliens. I'm sorry, Alamows. Oh, shit. And, uh... And Stop and... making me say Alamow. Alamow, Alamow, Alamow. Uh, I came from that way. Let's let's, let's go into some of these shops. The Whoa. That guy looks like the um the fucking evil guy from Pinocchio. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like when they go to that uh that like yeah. Like, he got, he's, he's gonna he's gonna go to that mischief island, but before he does, he like he fucking tries to, like work for some like creepy dude. Yeah, it's like, like the, takes advantage the of him. weird carny. Yep. Who locks him in a bird I don't cage remember his name. On the road. Yeah. He's he's not he's only there for a little bit of the movie, so it's not like he's. Like he, he's not villain. like yeah, he's not. But he's definitely a piece of garbage. Yeah. Um, and he's got like a very distinctive look, so like. Honestly, he's... I think he's probably one of the easy, like the fastest, most hateable villains. Oh yeah. In any Disney movie, because like right away I hate him. Like yeah. <laughs> like he's has children as slaves. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Damn! Right away I hate this guy. So. I want the villains pretty quickly. Hey, oh see. yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think I can buy this now when I get eighty rupees. Yeah. But the thing is, you can't use it because it's too heavy because you're a kid. Ah. Oh, okay. Can't use the good shield to your big old big boy. Um, also, it didn't really come up because we didn't really run into anything to light the shield on fire. But like, uh, was that guy about to sell a child bombs? Yes. Okay. But only if you have enough rupees. <laughs> He's responsible about it. You gotta have enough rupees. <laughs> you gotta you be rich enough to afford it. If you're responsible enough to afford the bombs, you're responsible enough to have the bombs. <laughs> Alright, so this is a good shop because it has all this good shit in it. I don't have a Having bottle. Having the yet. money for it means that means I need, you are responsible. Mostly need a bottle for most of this stuff. The fucked up thing about this item is that's just a ghost in a yeah. bottle jar. He just has that and it's 30 bucks. It's yeah. like someone's spirit. Yeah. He's got a lot of stuff that... This is the weirdest pharmacy ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he 
you gotta be ready. Let's yeah, you, the usually they want to get the get ghost soul. like out yeah, of you. Yeah. But this guy's got a ghost that you can just like put you in. You got a ghost in your blood. Do some That's a category two medication. <laughs> <laughs> it's right up there with Percocet. This is Percocet. This is Percocet. 15 milligrams. Milligrams. <laughs> I think it's the lady looking for the dog. Yep, she's looking for a dog. We'll do that at night because there's not the dog that she needs doesn't come out till nighttime anyway. <laughs> is it a werewolf? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Is it, what if it's a war wolf? Which is like a a werewolf, except instead of turning into a, like a wolf man, it turns into an entire army, but also just one man. <laughs> yes. To everything you just said. <laughs> it's um, a one man army. So I guess kind of like a like a where jo John Wick. A where John Wick. So so here's a happy mass salesman. John Rambo. The, the happy mass salesman is an asset from this game that became a very important character in Majora's Mask. Yeah. Yeah. He's like He's kind the of the guy who met a everything. terrible fate, right? Yeah, you yeah, he tells you you met a pair of terrible fate. He's the guy who bought a copy of Majora's Mask and it had a dead <laughs> kid in it. That is the game that would have a dead kid in it. A whole dead kid. <laughs> Such a, that sounds like a real creepy pasta though. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, is it really? This it was like, like the spirit of. This... Oh, oh, Ben drowned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, and that was what they're. Got it. Doing. I was like, when I said a whole dead kid, I thought like their whole body. Yeah. Like fell out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the implication, and I think that's really funny. <laughs> All right, so there's a stealth segment, so it's gonna be more like Metal Gear. I remember sucking really bad at this part when I was a kid. I don't remember sucking at it when I played it again as an adult, but maybe well, maybe I'll suck at it again. Let's find out. No. You're a smart kid. Good luck then. <laughs> Why would they do it like that? <laughs> Every time. I don't know. It's it, it's pretty bad. The the dialogue with that owl is like the worst part. Like he didn't even tell you like anything like complicated. It's just like you you want me to tell you that time doesn't pass in towns again. Boing boing. You hear about that again? <laughs> Would you like to hear about that in additional time? It was just like two sentences. I think it's only again. because like some kids like they were like afraid of like reading comprehension. Oh. Like like uh, like a hundred percent that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose. But it's also. God. Yeah. It's really frustrating. Um, yeah, I don't think I need anything up there. A lot of the stuff over here I don't think I can even do yet because I don't have bombs. If I go get, if I go buy bombs, can I... Do I need a bomb bag first? I might need a bomb bag first. It's because I can bomb this, I think there's a fairy fountain in here. Okay. Oh, that's why it's a mysterious fountain. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get caught by those guys. They're going to kick me out. Uh, yeah, they look pretty British. They'll probably, like... Some fucked up shit. We'll, we'll probably try to like colonize your Kokiri forest. They're like, shit. where are you from, little green boy? <laughs> Looks like you're from someone that hasn't met the good word of our lord, the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a, like a ladder on the cliff there. there. Yes, you are right. There is stones I can climb. And this castle, I always thought when I was a kid, was like the same castle from Mario 64. I know it's not, but I always like, my brain just couldn't separate the two. Mm. So I thought I could find Yoshi on the top of this, is what I'm saying. I would find Yoshi. The fucking Yoshi. Look at all this money you're finding in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> well, people were were wishing for stuff, so. I wish the queen wasn't such a right cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I what did you say, you old dodger? <laughs> <laughs> we should play Dragon Quest because that's what that whole game's like. Yeah. Yeah. Ah yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! I think he needs to be awake. Oh no no he's asleep all the time. We gotta go wake him up with something. 
So bombs? N uh, no, uh, we actually have to get a, a fat chicken to show up and scream at him. Huh? Okay. Nice. Well, that was my second guess. So. No, no, no. Bombs isn't a, <laughs> a, b a bombs isn't a bad guess for his Zelda game. To be honest. <laughs> no, my second guess was getting a fat chicken to <laughs> scream at him. <laughs> Yo, I got a fat cock. <laughs> We're around the offices. You got a fat cock. <laughs> Was that really like sexual harassment yeah. video? Was that like was that parody or was that real? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you can't go in here for that. Right, I 100% need to wake this guy up so he can get these boxes past him. So a little bit of backtracking here. Holy oh, mate! Um, if but the you're nice thing going is, going to go if get, I get a chicken, it's box tracking. Mm hmm. <laughs> Gentlemen, rev your disappointment. Mm. <laughs> you just uh, pop over there, you're like, hey dude, I broke in. Can you just sort me out? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm glad it doesn't take any hearts away. I thought yeah. I thought it did, but it doesn't. I mean, it, like, it flashes red like you, you took damage. But See, like... she's important. <laughs> she's not from around here, are you? He's basically obsessed with me. Okay, now I kind of get why, like, um... Now I'm starting to think about it. I kind of get why, like, Twilight Princess, like, ended up having, like, so many characters that basically made the game everyone wants to fuck Link the game. Yeah. No, no. Breath of the Wild's worse. Yeah. But Twilight Princess is also pretty bad. Yeah. Because, like, you've got, like... Everyone in town... There's a character in the town that literally gives you bedroom eyes all the time. <laughs> and it's fucked up because I think they're like 12. Oh. Which is really bad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not great. It's really not. I missed what she told us because I was fucking That's going to be a big old would not recommend for me. Well, because like the thing is like like uh, from this game forward, like when he gets... when uh, Not counting uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was his own thing. But once he gets a... Twilight Princess, they kind of, like, ramped up all the, like, small adult themes that were in it. Okay. So they were like, okay, like, a bunch of girls like Link. And there's, like, some flirting going on. Like, with the, the Zora Princess and with her and with Zelda, there's kind of maybe something with these, these like, women in the game. And then, but it's, like, really kind of stretching it. It's like, you kind of have to just assume that because you're a dumb kid. Then it's really explicit in Twilight Princess. Yeah. And then in fucking... Breath of the Wild, it's like everyone wants to fuck you. Yeah. Like, everyone you talk to is, like, talking about how fucking hot you are all the time. It's like... <laughs> They're it's all like, twirling their hair, going, you're so funny. Yeah, basically everyone. <laughs> fucking... The only person that doesn't want to fuck Link is, is like, the one that... Yeah, he probably does, too. Never mind. <laughs> he must <laughs> have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, hee hee. <laughs> I've been incubating this egg. Yes. I don't like that Excuse weird me? egg. I don't. I don't care for that. <laughs> I don't that care for that. Egg. Excuse me. You were doing what? She was incubating it. She's probably just holding it in like a pouch and just keeping it warm next to her body. That's all it was. Wouldn't it be great if Epona hatched from that thing? <laughs> that w okay. So there's so in in Majora's Mask, there's a very specific moment that had me and my friends like flipping out. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Because it was almost like similar weird logic like that. It wasn't a horse, but it was pretty similar. Okay. It was a dog. Nope. I don't want to ruin it. It was the moon. Sure. The moon hatched out of the yeah, egg. The moon came out of the egg. <laughs> and then it crushed everybody. And that's how it happened. And the cow jumped over Look at the me, moon I'm a Jorah. I'm going to squish out all life. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on my nuts. Humpty Gump. Dumpty ain't got no guts. I, I think Humpty it, Dumpty got so what? <laughs> I like you like slowly get and lose interest. <laughs> like, it's like I had a trap song and then I'm like, no, I can't possibly see this to completion. And then I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? Uh, fucking. Well, uh, well, uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I remember eventually. It was a, uh... 
It, was it about a thing? No, it was the moon. It was the moon. No, no, I was I was just gonna say like yeah. So, so the moon. I think whenever I think about the moon from Majora's Mask, I always think about that fucking line from uh, Invader Zim, where where I just I just hit the button as I jumped. Um, there's a line from Invader Zim where the tallest they're just like making fun of Zim where he's not in the room. They're just hanging out. They're just like, cause like he has a, he has a plan where he's gonna take the moon, put rockets on it, and squish everybody on the earth <laughs> with the moon. <laughs> just like roll the moon over the earth until it squishes everybody. That was his plan. And, and the tallest are just sitting in a room, just going like, "Look at me, I'm Zim. I'm gonna squish out all life." And they've got like two balls. They're like, and they're rubbing on each other's faces and laughing and spewing candy out of their mouths. It's like so fucking good. It's super funny. And I think about that whenever I think about Majora, it's like dropping the moon on everybody. I'm like, yeah. Look at me, I'm a dream. I'm gonna squish out all life. This isn't a. He does nothing. Excuse me, sir. Have a giant egg. <laughs> I'm not unlike Billy Hatcher How in one way. do I hatch the egg? I think... You gotta incubate the egg yourself. I think I do, but I don't remember... Yeah. What I gotta do to get it to hatch. You just gotta snug it in the cleft of those cheeks. Hello, queen! <laughs> Hello, photo queen, photo oh. queen. You following me, cock? Oh, you following my cock, mate? Call blimey, not again. <laughs> we really should play Dragon Quest. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd have a good time. Yeah. There's a character called Genghis who yeah. is Bob Me Cock guy. Yeah. He's the guy who says Bob Me Cock. I know that guy. He's the guy. He's like, call blimey. He says core blimey quite a lot. <laughs> and it's great oh. every time. Look at those people spinning on an axis. Like yeah, that. <laughs> they're they're in love, and you spin you in are a so circle. Handsome, just like the king of Hyrule. <laughs> Wouldn't that fucking suck if someone's like, if you're trying to like have a tender moment with someone and they just Bring mention up the... the monarch of the nation that you're yeah. in? It's like, oh, you're so sexy, just like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's they probably have that to do that. Probably fucking happens a lot. <laughs> God, that's gotta happen a lot. Does time pass here? I'd like it to. So many fucking dogs. They're all good dogs. One of these dogs is the one I gotta catch. This is creepy as shit. I've always thought this looked creepy as hell. Oh, yeah, the time like temple? Cathedral? Just, yeah, just this is the temple of time, so. This looks like this. I don't think I can do anything here at all, but I can go in. It looks like you need three things. Hmm. Three, like three wedges, maybe? Perhaps. Perhaps three. I need about four number nines. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't wait. An oh, extra dip. Dude. I don't remember the whole thing. This is how the inscription reads. So, so what did that say? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'll, I just, I'll read. I'll, I just I'll, like, I'll read. read it and then read. didn't think about what I read. Yeah. Uh, three hollows and an inscription. And... Stones. Okay, we're looking three for stones. Three spiritual stones. stones. We already have one of them. Okay. Crack, crack, crack. Blab, blab, and ass. <laughs> Blap blap ass. Blap blap ass. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! Alright. Let's see if the egg just hatches as the time, as like the day comes back in. She gonna, she, 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 she I can look it up. Because I'm pretty sure that's what we gotta do. I don't think there's anything too extensive we have to do here. We might have to go back to Kakariko Village. I don't think so, but we might. You could cock a Rico village, or you could cock my Rico village, if you know what I mean. This is funny. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my my Rico village is like my um like my chicken coop. Uh, like put put a rooster in there. Like, you get some, yeah. Like, okay. Get some like fertilized eggs in there to, to, mul to multiply our chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just make, make like a like a like a big profit getting into like chicken farming. Okay. 
So you get go where we're get like get on board, oh, like, get it, okay. get on the ground. On the dawn floor, of the day, the after you obtain it, it matches. Got it. So I just gotta kind of fuck around here until they, the yeah. sun come up. And long ago, somebody Hey, it's morning. We wait a kawaii morning. What a kawaii morning. I was showing somebody that and they just turned it off. It's the miracle. Yeah. They, they didn't even like, they didn't even like ass, they just turned it off. I was like, alright. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, it's fair. It's just, it's just a cringe video. Like, you don't, you don't really want to see it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a kawaii morning. What an entire nation. This guy looks like Mario. Oh, he does. Can a person sleep for weeks on end around here? No. You've got a child outside who needs your help, Star Fox. And these crates of milk are spoiled now. <laughs> he slept for too long. <laughs> in the sun. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. The thing about Lon Lon milk that's really interesting is that it gets you drunk. The, oh, yeah. there, are, there are milk bars in this game. That's where you get milk. Bars. Yeah. You gotta go to the bar. Sure. Slug down a glass of milk. Yeah, you did mess up badly with your kid life. Like, by yourself. Three bags of milk. God. Are the black and tans over there gonna stop him? <laughs> no. He's How can you no, stop a man with big, with big scary, like, gorilla arms like That's him? That's also a good question. Is yeah, it? you're right. That guy looks like he is part of the guns of the of, of the IRA. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Give me to do that. Let's get out of there. That's one limitation about this game that that I think is like a pretty valid criticism is like a lot of things are mapped to the A button. The one thing that's nice is it tells you what things mapped at that time, so it's not as bad as it could be. But there are times where it just like really slows things down, like that. Like that actually does slow things down a little bit. Now you feel like that's actually like something they improve on greatly in like uh, um, titles after this. Yeah. Is kind of getting rid of that or making it a little bit more like the, con the context of it a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, so you're like pushing that like down. It's gotta be, like, shattering the bottles in there, right? Yeah. I don't give a shit, though. You're just a it's shitty been out here kid. For day, in the sun for days. <laughs> yeah, it has. Oh, man, the stench. Alright, this part. Nobody opened those bottles. Wait, can I, can I go in there? I don't remember ever trying. No, I can't. Here's some stealth for you all. Pretty easy stuff, too. Watch me get caught right at the fucking way. It's always nice when, like, games with, like, uh, games that are not stealth games that have forced stealth portions, like, just make it easy. I know why it was a thing so commonly. It's not as bad anymore. But it was because, like, people were really trying to push the limitations of the console. And what and what they were trying to do is give super you... super hot, too. Yeah. And there's also the fact that, like, they wanted to give you a variety. Like, yeah. that was a big, a big thing with your game. Like, like it's not about, like... How, like it's not like nowadays where it's just like how good is this like uh, platformer? How good is like the the jumping or the or the fighting in this in this beat 'em up? It was more like what can you do in the game? Yeah, having the option to do more things was better. Yeah. So that so that's that was like kind of a weird design philosophy that I'm glad has gone away. But it's why there's so many games that like do that shit. Like Sonic Adventure One is pretty uh, big yeah. offender of that. Because because they were trying to just it was a tech demo for everything the console could do. They had a version of like bass fishing. They had a version of uh, fucking like 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 a like little like like hide and seek game. They've got like a bunch of uh, um, just your traditional Sonic levels, and they had like 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 mech segments and all kinds of stuff where they were just like and a racing game segment and all kinds of things uh, just yeah. to kind of make you go, oh, this is what the game console could do, and if people want to make them for the Dreamcast, they could make like any of these. Yeah. So that, that's why those game, they, they even have that stuff. I run into a lot of people asking that question, like, why, why did you even think about putting this in your nice Sonic game? It's like because it was a tech demo. 
for the for the console. That's why that's all in there. Yeah, that was kind of what Sonic the Hedgehog One was too, because like they have this new console and it's like, yeah, we, we had a master there. system, but now look at what we can do now. We can like have big expansive levels that can gain the illusion of speed and like yeah, and they got like all, all these... the other, like parallax rolling and all kinds of cool shit they that they could do in that game. Yeah, and just the sheer spectacle out of it all. Which is why the first game wasn't all that great, because yeah. it wasn't made to be a game, necessarily. Just to kind of show off, mostly. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and, and then like, the second game, it's like, okay, now we got a game. Yeah, it, the, the thing, the, the big, fuck. The big thing about, uh, about the second game that was a huge improvement was just the fact that you had the, uh, the spin dash. Because yeah. before you had to do, you had to get momentum first before you could do it. Yeah. And now you could just do it. Yeah. And when I say not too great, I don't mean to imply that Sonic One's a, like a terrible thing. It's not. It's great. It's not the best of the of the but early it's ones. Definitely the but, weakest. But the only reason it's the weakest was it's it's pretty experimental, and it was also like just exactly. trying to like show off. Like, you said, that, like that's that's, that's, pretty that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Hey, I stuck by all the guards, <laughs> and, and I'm just... armed. <laughs> and you're just you're just like some greasy dude who never brushes his teeth from the woods. And you're just, <laughs> yeah. And you're some kid. You're just like standing behind her, just like. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always sound like I kicked in the balls, Link? Sounds like a Newgrounds a Flash animation. Link gets kicked in the balls. <laughs> like fucking like. Link gets kicked in the balls. Funny eighteen plus. <laughs> it's eighteen plus. <laughs> like it's like his bare balls like touching toes. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, the, and they like squash and stretch it so it doesn't like actually change form. It just kind of like gets, they like tween it out. So it's yeah. just like, <laughs> fuck, it just looks terrible. <laughs> I fucking love that idea. I should, I should make that. <laughs> we'll fucking render. I, I love that most of the stuff on Newgrounds from God knows forever ago is still there mostly. Yeah, everything's still there. Oh, you know what really sucks is that Flash is going to be supported anymore next year. So a lot of that oh, it, it hasn't been for years. On no, I mean like you won't be able to use it at all. Like you won't be able to watch like Flash animations and like uh, Flash games and stuff anymore. I... It's Chrome has been consistently oh, telling Chrome. me, yeah, that you can't do uh, it anymore. Yeah. Can you do it on Firefox and everything else? Uh, Firefox, it strongly discourages you from using it because it's exploitable. Yeah, but it it will let you do it. Okay, because you have to install the plugin, and they're like, all right. By the way, this plugin is bad, but here it is. Yeah, cause like, cause like the thing that scares me about that is just the fact that like every single like thing will be gone. Yeah, that upsets me a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of the way it is already, but with uh. The... Well, you can still like watch it. The it, the thing is like the fact that it will be completely unsupported. Like you can't even use the plugin. Yeah. You can't use it there at all. Like it's just basically deleted at this point. Yeah. Um Basically, uh interesting thing is Zelda kinda of, like knows you're from the forest because you have a fairy. Nobody else really brings that up. So she's the only one who's brought it up so far. Oh, okay. And you she already knows about the, spir the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? Yep, she knows about that too. And did Goma have that? Yep. Well, oh, no, um the deck tree gave us that. Ah, that's right. Okay. I don't trust you, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> the time, the truth. It's like fucking Ace Attorney or some shit, <laughs> or or uh, um or Ellie Noir. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. And, and the whole time we're going. Yeah. I had a dream, and in the dream there were some stuff, and then a ray of light shot out of the forest part of the cloud and lit it off the ground. Light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. <laughs> I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm Suri. 
I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I know. Allow me to introduce myself. I know. Oh, everybody knows who you are, though. So like, I am yeah. Zelda, Shut Princess the fuck of up, Princess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Excuse me. What is your yeah. name? Excuse me, Princess. Uh, strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Uh, she would Almost as if I've been subscribed to basement quality <laughs> since 2012. A, okay. a, re a realistic <laughs> response to hear my name the first time, she'd just be like, Oh, Taha, that's funny. Ta -ha 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 -ha. It's like, cool. <laughs> and so you're the only person that's... That's the, that's the thing. It's like, fucking everyone... You think you're the first one. Everyone does that one. <laughs> 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 fucking everybody does that one. I fell down that hole too, dog. I did it too. Good job. The shame, man. The shame. <laughs> the shame of it all. Oh, he's ashamed. <laughs> I changed my name. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a young warthog, <laughs> 30 to 50 warthogs. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of goes over the thing that Deku Tree goes over again, but it, she goes into the whole wish thing though. Okay. Grant the wishes with the power. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they even know. If someone that. with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. And that is what has been told. But the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. I can't really skip any of those, so yeah, I yeah. just gotta let it do its thing. Yep. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. Our world. <laughs> it's interesting they don't like light that up too much here. Yeah. They could, they could, like they use it's pretty common to light stuff like that up. Is that fate? F dot a dot t dot e. <laughs> but the entrance is feel, sealed with a stone wall called the door of time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Do you understand well the story I just told you? Oh, okay. She's... Yes. Uh, I don't like that. You just switch it up on it. Fucking don't. I forgot to tell you. Uh. I was spying through this window <laughs> just now. This is I saw spy. the king fucking. I saw the king <laughs> fucking my dad. Now I'm gonna have two kings. I've never I heard saw, of that before. I saw the king <laughs> She's masturbating. Like, really? <laughs> I saw the king just fucking spanking it to like making link noises. The dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. You know he's gonna come when he yells bombs. <laughs> you look through the window at him. No. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna do it because he's gonna ask me again. Then she locks you into a locker. And like spits at your feet, and then have to wait for the janitor to come around. <laughs> that is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Even though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Aha, uh -huh, I see you spying! What happened? Did he see you? Yes. Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. <laughs> you say it loudly? Yes. <laughs> I told my father about my dream. I like these camera angles, but it's all kind of ruined with like these really low, po low yeah. resolution flowers. <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I, 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 it would have been impressive back then, though. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the colors are still pretty good. I can sense that the man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. 
and he wants to. I like how he's just staring directly the into her ears. Entire world. Yeah. Well, she does. She she probably hasn't cleaned him recently, so Ew. he's just like, damn. No waxy ears, girl. <laughs> We're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think you can just say that. I don't think she makes you talk again. Yeah, you can just you could just not believe her. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. <laughs> Zelda, why'd you break all the plates in the kitchen? Please. Prophecy. Oh no, she does what? make you. Oh, she does. Oh, okay. I thought you could get away with not. not... I don't know. It, I guess you gotta do that. If what you must. It's 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 sleep time for gotcha. me personally. Okay. All right. All right. Good night. Go Good fight. fight. Good right. night. Good night. Good night. So we'll, we'll get to like a good stopping point save, and then we'll yeah we'll uh we'll just get past this st the stuff and get out of here after input talks to us and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's fortunate that you come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. Haha, <laughs> too bad your wisdom. <laughs> she like takes the Ocarina, licks it, writes her name on it, and like, hides it under the in the ground. She's just like, now nobody can get it, even if they get double dog dare me to tell them where it is. <laughs> She's a dumb kid, so like <laughs> yeah. that's her like power to stop him. It's like, eh, mine I own it. Zelda, <laughs> right on the back. Uh huh. I can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if, like, the world-ending superpower just had like Jason on it and the S is backwards and Sharpie? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's like 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 Andy's like writing from like Toy Story. <laughs> you go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. Okay. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful to you. Zelda's letter. Wow. It has her autograph. It seems. Okay. Just select the other. You can set it to whatever and use that to show it to people. Now, some people do respond to it, and there's like, uh. You have to show it to some guards to get into Death Mountain, I think. Okay. Alright, so here's Impa. Impa is in every game, but looks different in every game. Yep. Because I've always seen her as an older lady with a hunchback. Yep, either she looks like that, she looks like this, or she like... Oh, the Sheikahs? Okay. Yep, the Sheikahs. Responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything exact is exactly as the princess. <laughs> the princess foretold. You're a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? <laughs> My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. <laughs> this is an ancient this is like melody. like ninja sounds like a fucking down western. by the royal <laughs> You got a southern drawl. <laughs> Suddenly. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching an LP of... Uh, Phantom Pain again. And the way Ocelot talks is just so, like, Texan. It's just whatever. the accent is different uh, every game. Played the song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. Skullface and the, <laughs> and the PMCs <laughs> come together. It's fucking mysterious. <laughs> Impa is just like Ocelot just betrays you super hard. <laughs> betrays everybody all the time. Now listen carefully. Sneak low across the ground. That gunship will tear you up. Tear you up. <laughs> Upright. This is the first song we learned. So when we do, uh, when we pull the ocarina out, which you've probably seen before, you don't ever, you don't always get... You don't get like the little pegs, like you gotta like memorize them. Yeah. So I, was, I always thought that was kind of cool that you gotta like had to actually learn how to play the songs. You, you'd write them down. Yep. You're, they they give you a, in the start in the start menu they have them I all there. I think I remember. Uh, Pre practice. Yeah. Cause I I think I remember my friend having a little sheet of paper that yep. he wrote. I used to do that too. 
So I didn't have to go into the start menu and look every time, but like, yeah. it, they're right there in the start menu, so it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah. I remember I had a sheet full of Mega Man X passwords. Yeah. <laughs> I had the same thing with like like uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice Cheat City. Codes. I had this big ass notebook just full of fucking cheats. <laughs> nice. That was like the coolest shit ever is that somebody let you borrow Grand Theft Auto and then like in the the instruction book area they just had a bunch of cheats in there. You're like it's all to ready to go. To get the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. On the playground is where I spent most, most of my life. days. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. But Kakariko is kind of like the main town. Like, that's where you, most towny stuff happens. Cool. Song I just taught you has some mysterious power. <laughs> Only royal family members will make it work, or whatever. Uh, prove your connection with the royal family. <laughs> with the royal family of the song. Uh, the princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. <laughs> yep. So like, she stunned you with a Deku nut and left. But I do like how they like portray that, like like time didn't even move at all. Yeah. She's just suddenly gone. When really she walked away during that time. So can you just save wherever? Yep, I'll save right here. Actually, I'm gonna save in town, because I don't wanna forget where I am. And forget where I am. <laughs> we'll just start right here. I'm sure a cutscene will start the second I get in there. Yeah. 